king was born king. The Bible says he's a seven-way king. He's a king of the Jews. That's a racial king. He's a king of Israel. That's a national king. He's a king of righteousness. He's a king of the ages. He's a king of heaven. He's a king of glory. He's a king of kings. And he is the Lord of lords. Now that's my king. Well, I wonder if you know him. Do you know him? Don't try to mislead me. Do you know my king? David said the heavens declare the glory of God, and the fundament showeth his handiwork. My king is the only one whom there no means of measure can define his limitless love. No far-seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of his soulless supply. No barriers can hinder him from pouring out his blessing. Well, well, he's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's impurely powerful. And he's impartially merciful. That's my king. He's God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's a centerpiece of civilization. He stands alone in himself. He's august. He's unique. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He's supreme. He's preeminent. Well, he's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the supreme problem in high criticism. He's the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He's the cardinal necessity of spiritual religion. And that's my king. He's the miracle of the age. He's the superlative of everything good that you choose to call him. Well, yeah. he, he's the only one able to supply all of our needs simultaneously. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He star God and he dies. He heals the sick. He cleans the lepers. He forgives he discharges death. He delivers the captive. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the age. He rewards the diligent. And he beautifies the me. Do you know him? Well, my king is a king of knowledge. He's a wellspring of wisdom. He's a doorway of deliverance. He's a pathway of peace. This He's is the true. roadway of righteousness. This He's the highway of holiness. He's the gateway of glory. He's the master of the mighty. He's the captain of the popular. He's the head of the heroes. He's, He's the leader of the legislator. He's the overseer of the overcomers. He's the governor of governors. He's the prince of princes. He's the king of kings. And he's the Lord of lords. That's my king. Yeah. 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 That's my king. My king. Yeah. His office is manifold. manifold. His promise is sure. His life is matchless. matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. His yoke is easy, and his burden is light. Well, I wish I could describe him to you, but he, he's indescribable. He's indescribable. Yeah. That good work. He, he's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. I'm trying to tell you, the heavens of heavens cannot contain him, let alone a man explaining him. You can't get him out of your mouth. You can't get him off of your hand. You can't outlive him, and you can't live without him. Well, Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. The witnesses couldn't get their testimonies to agree. Herod couldn't kill him. 
death couldn't handle him and the grave couldn't hold him. That's my king. Yeah. He always has been. And he always, he always gonna be. will be. I'm talking about he had no predecessor and he'll have no successor. There was nobody before him and there'll be nobody after him. You can't even teach him and he's not gonna resign. That's my king. This is true. Mm. Mm -hmm. Time, time is the, is the king. And the power and the glory. Hey! All the power belongs to my king. We around here talking about black power and white power and green power. But it's God's power. Time is the power. Yeah. Yeah. And the glory, we finally get prestige and honor and glory for ourselves, but the glory is all here. Oh, yeah. Yes, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever and ever. How long is that? And ever and ever and ever and ever. And when you get through with all of the forever, Amen. I felt Sarnetta out there in the world with his ear like this. Amen. I felt Sarnetta right now. He said, Amen. <laughs> Press what? Now they don't do that for they for they Osiris. Press what? <laughs> he dead anyway. He can't hear it. Press what? He's the god of the underworld. Hit that like button and subscribe. Kev Rowe, you know if I come on the air, you should be here. For sure, for sure. As they say in South Los Angeles. For sure, for sure. You're supposed to be right there, tuned in to the channel. The most, <laughs> the most consistent channel on YouTube. <laughs> Let me see who we got up in here. Make yourself known. Let me see. Before I get started, let me see who I'm over here. 72 likes. Nah, I love y'all too. I love y'all too. That's all right. I came in here to give y'all better information than I gave you before. If you thought today's information that I gave you today, give me the microphone. Press what? If you thought that was something, and if you missed it, don't even try to talk about it right now. Just go back and watch it, but watch this one right now. Then go back. And watch the first one because you already on part two. You might as well just sit your retarded self down in row 54. Hit that like button and subscribe. Shout out to my moderators, of course. I know a lot of people don't be thinking I'm going to come back. It's very rare that I come back. Even though y'all know I can. I can talk all day about this. And I know a lot of people can't. I can talk all day long. See, people be talking about bullshit and nonsense all day. See this? I can talk about this. This right down my alley. I've been waiting to get this off my chest for a very long time. Punks. And <laughs> it's like Clint Eastwood out here. Back up, bullies and punks. Press one. The dweebs is coming through. The dweebs move this Carroll University. You better be like Kurt Franklin and stomp, nigga. Press one. Hashtag Nick Cannon. It hit different when Carroll. <laughs> I came on the air because I feel good. As you can tell by my smile on my face. That's my heart and my spirit. It feel good. So the feelings and muscles go to my face and they smile like this. <laughs> and it makes me giggle because you have no one starting me. You're probably thinking, how could you get better than before? How could you do that? Now, this is for my scientific people. This is for all of us as a, as a collective. Um, a lot of people don't know <clears throat> when you're dealing with Odin and Osiris and all of these things, you're dealing in necromancy. This is all dead. And stay dead. I ain't tripping. Press one. But it's dead. 
And it's okay to be dead and be walking around like a dog. Okay, go ahead, do your thing. I ain't trying to make, make you upset. What I want you to know is it's dead. And uh, dead men tell no tales, as y'all know, as y'all have watched in Disney movies. What's up, Royal Purple? Shout out to you and the fam and everybody up north. Shout out to y'all. But I had to I had to come back home because there's something that's been troubling me for quite some time. And that's a character in English, no, excuse me, Irish folklore called Saint Kevin. Press one. And I know y'all gonna hate on me. And I don't care. I don't care. This is about me right now. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck what y'all talking about. It's my birthday, bro. Move. Get out of the way. I know I'm a Leo, but this is my birthday week. Move. Nah. So I've been researching. And you should have been researching too if you're on my Patreon because I've been dropping hints, but I had to pull back because a lot of y'all are uncircumcised bars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, God, uh, I should be a rapper now. I get it. Ah, a lot of you are uncircumcised. Press what? That's cold. I don't even know how that's cold. Yeah, that was just, I was just biblical joke. Biblical joke. Don't be mad at me. Ah. Mm. So, I've been doing my research on St. Kevin. Do you know about St. Kevin? Yeah, I know about St. Kevin. Right. I do my research. Get back. Okay, this is great. But this folklore sounds all so familiar. So I want to give you a perception of St. Kevin and the Black Bird. Now, I've been trying to figure this little riddle out for quite some time. And a lot of people don't even know what I'm talking about. But you can Google it real quick. You can, you can Google it. It's like we've been fighting our way through hell trying to find life and shit. But you can Google it. I'm going to pull it up on my, on here. And this is going to wake you up a little bit. Because I always seen their folklore as parable. You know, uh, like these little uh, hickory dickory dock song, a mouse ran up the clock. The clock. See, that type of shit always made me, why y'all do it like that? And, and what are you really saying? Press one, but there's a thing, Kevin and the Black Bird, and somebody challenged me, figure this out, Kev. What is this old Irish folklore or deity personified? What is this? So I had to go through my illustration. I had to go back. And since we uh, are caught up in necromancy and the dead, the, uh, the, the, the black sun, well, life will be the opposite in real natural life. So let's look at this from a perspective of the living and the dead. The night of the living dead. Damn. Damn. And so I'm looking at this thing and there's, St. Kevin's, there's a bunch of depictions of him, but usually it's an old white man with a white beard, and he looks too much like Odin. So I found this one of a Negro. Press one, sitting on a tree like Odin. Press one, <laughs> talk to me. That's all I'm trying to figure this dynamic out. What is this picture telling me, the black bird? I go read it, and it's about uh, uh, St. Kevin and his outreached hands towards God, and as he's outreaching in deep prayer towards God, a black bird lands in his hands and actually creates life in his hands and hatches eggs. And Kev is so much in prayer. I call him Kev already. Kev, St. Kev. is isn't so much in deep prayer. The black bird stays in his hands the whole time as he's in prayer. Had the babies and everything. Now, I didn't make this up, so you can, <laughs> you can be mad at me because I came online and talk about this, but that's okay. 
I'm taking it on the chin. I don't care anymore. We just going to be talking. So if you Google it, you will read it for yourself. You can even call in if you want to read it. Right? So I'm sitting up here reading, um, going through this, and I'm saying, okay, illustration, there, I, there has to be a significance to St. Kevin and the black bird. Right? So I approach it like I do every situation. You hear me, B? Hit my line, B. Hit my line. I got to talk to somebody. Press one. I got to talk to somebody. I approach it like I do every situation. You know, I'm trying to figure it out on my own. <laughs> and it's been a while. Notes has passed, and I, we just bypassed it, and it's gone. But today, I go back to it. And a student of mine um, sends me some information on... Well, actually, uh, been uh, sending information and actually created a whole damn thing around the Book of Names. Remember we did the live streams on the Book of Names? And what's that movie? Lovecraft. Remember that movie? With the end of Book of Names and the black people burnt and self-sacrificed themselves, which brings me back to Kevlo and the other Kevin who self-sacrificed himself on Facebook Live. Press one. Yeah. So I brought this to the people. I just Hi. like I just want to have a conversation with the people. B, you on the air? What up, champ? Yes, sir. So, yeah, Kev. So you hear me about this Saint Kevin riding the black bird? Yeah, I got it pulled up right now. Okay, okay. Now, if you read this story, it will remind you of. I don't know if you read it or not, but it will remind you of something. And I'm just asking the people, you know, tell me what you what you think about St. Kevin and the Black Bird and what you think it can possibly mean. We're going to start there. Well, uh, I just started reading it. If you don't mind, I can read it right now if you want me to for everybody. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's my <laughs> dog. Because you know our people. You know our people. They ain't even, and they're like, oh, man, I heard it grumbling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already know. <laughs> Say that. I'm go. go ahead and take the initiative. Go ahead and take the initiative. Because you know Ali ain't going to call in and read this. Go ahead, man. All right, here we go. Uh, St. Kevin and the Black Bird. And then there was St. Kevin and the Black Bird. Go ahead. The saint is kneeling, arms stretched out inside a cell, but the cell was narrow. So the one pointed up palms, I mean, one turned palms up is out the window still as a cross beam when a blackbird lands and lays in it and settles down to nest. Kevin feels the warm eggs, the small breast, the tucked neat head and, <laughs> and claws Go ahead. finding himself Link into the network of eternal life. Wow, okay. Is moved to pity. Now he must hold his hands like a branch out in the sun and rain for weeks until the young are hatched and, f and fledged and flown. And since the whole thing's imagined anyway, imagine being Kevin. Which is he? Self- Forget self forgetful or in agony all the time. Go ahead. From the neck on down to his hurting forearms. Are his fingers sleeping? Does does he still feel his knees? Or has the set eyed blank uh, of underneath crept up through him? Is there distance in his head? Alone and mirrored clear in love's deep river, in love's deep river, to labor and not to seek reward, Ugh. he prays. Go ahead. A prayer his body makes entirely, for he has forgotten self, forgotten bird, and now the riverbank forgotten the river's name. Wow, bro. Yeah. I can't lie, Kev. 
That sound like you, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, wait, like, wait. Hold on, hold on. Z, Z, B. Hold up, B. That's why I can't talk to you really. B, Joe, right? Too good. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna even lie. Bro, that kind of sound like with the. All right, look, I get it. This has been driving me crazy for like three hours already, right? I've been bugging. For real. Because it's like, man, like, man, like, selflessness. Like, man, you, like, you, you bringing all this information to us, man, not even worried about self. You just worried about. Bro, do you know my forearm been hurting for the last three and a half months, bro? Man. I ain't been even able to move it back, bro, really. Like, I felt like I pulled a muscle, but I didn't. I just thought I, I slept on the wrong, but I didn't. But that's a trip. Same cable. But, but look, up. that's a trip. That That's real to me. Now, check this out. I'm sitting up here reading, and I can only talk to you really about this with the people listening, because here, here it is. So, I'm taking from this, like, wow. Okay, he's deep in touch with the Holy Spirit, and boom. A bird descends on him, right? Right. And hatches eggs. I talked about the dove landed at my apartment when I end up getting up out, how the dove landed and hatched eggs and all all that on my show. But what what's crazy is I'm trying to figure out what's the meaning behind it. The black bird lands in his hand. Well, all right, I gotta get to you just how I'm thinking. Okay. Black bird. All right, black bird, black people, dead in de- dead hands, you know? Like it, it got me thinking like that. Like it should. Because that's what I that that's what I that's the first thought that come to, to my to mind, even while reading it. Like, you know, they black. They you know, and and Saint Kevin is being selfless by you know letting them rest in his hands until they able to fly themselves. That's what that's what I get out of it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. They ain't even hatched some of them. They still they still uh, eggheads. You know, but just like that, like that, like reading it, man. That's what I get. And then the 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 stuff that Saint Kevin got to go through, you know, his forearm hurting, he get numb. You there know? you go, numb. And it, 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 numb, yes sir. It even say like, you know, it, it say, uh, which is he, self uh, forgetful or in agony all the time? So it's both. You know, <laughs> it's both. Cause you know to get people to to understand it ain't an easy thing, and it take a lot of selfishness to get up here and and to do that. So yeah, that's exactly what I I, I get out of that one. Okay, this is why I like talking to you. That's why I like talking. People like me and you to talk. They like I can't even lie. I got so many like bro, <laughs> you and B in y'all conversations. We can listen to that all night and listen to a support. Man, that's crazy, like, man. Real. So, this is yeah, this is this yes, is sir. this is why I be, why I told you before this month even got started what I've been saying. But look, I'm I'm like okay, the little black bird. Okay, I get, and I and I see that I see everything of what you're saying. Today I get notes, and the notes is black bird in 1828. Okay. No, yeah, black bird. Black bird, like or black bird. Go black bird. Black bird. Uh, like with lands yeah, in Kevin's hands. Okay. I'm going up. Press one if y'all if y'all following along. It's about to get exciting. Hold on to the never ending story dog now. <laughs> Hold on, this is tripping me out. For the last, however long I've been off the air, I caught an epiphany sitting here in my office chair in deep thought. You know, oh, shit. So I, want everybody, I want everybody to go to Blackbird 
in the eighteen twenty eight. Go ahead, B. All right, I got it. Blackbird. Okay. All right. It says in England, uh, the the marula, a species of of turtles, a singing bird with a fine note and very loud. In America, in, this now is, wait a minute. Yeah, it's right. It, no, yeah, in America, what? In America. This name is given to different birds as to the, uh, gra- what is this? Uh, Gracula. Or Gracula. Or yes. Yeah, Gracula, Quascala. Or, 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 or crow. Yes. Black bird. Yes. And to the Orioles, uh, Fianius, or red winged black bird. So now, that's a Phoenicius, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, Phoenicia, black bird. Yeah, I messed that up. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, this one, it already got me. Black book. Okay, right below wow. that is noun what? Black, black book. Okay, so black bird is this. Right below that is noun black, black book. book. Now, what yes, is that? Sir. Now, what is that? Okay, black book. The book of the Esquire, Esquire, that's Esquire. The book of the Esquire in England is a book said to have been composed in 1175 by uh, Gavarius of Tiberi. Okay, keep going. It, contains, it don't even matter. These names, the, the name is just the name. Who got it? Go ahead. It contains what? Right. It, it contains a description of the court of Esquire. It's officers, their ranks, privileges, wages, uh, uh-huh. per per uh huh, prerequisites, prerequisites, prerequisites. Yeah, per, yeah, per, prerequisites, uh, jurisdiction, uh huh, with uh, revenues of the crown, well, wait, and money, with the revenues of the crown, in money, grain, yes, and cattle. And cattle. Okay. Wow, bro. Number one. Yes, sir. Number one. Number one. Go ahead. Any book with any book which treats of necromancy. Number two. Wow. A book compiled by order of the visitors of monasteries under Henry the Eighth, containing a ahead. detailed account. Containing a detailed account of the uh, enormities practiced in religious houses to blacken them and to hasten their disillusion. Now, to do what to them? It says to hasten their dis- disillusion, Before to blacken them. The black. <laughs> oh, <duh>. Damn. <laughs> oh, to blacken them. Now. Now, what if I told you this little black book landed in my hands? I will believe you, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Wow. Now, this black book contains what, sir? It contains a detailed account of the enormities practiced in religious houses to blacken them and hasten their disillusion. So the black bird in the black book, that's interesting. Yeah, it is. In wow, 1828. And while in 1828. Yes, sir. You know, if it ain't in 1828, at the it don't even matter. It don't even make sense. No, it don't. This is going to, the 1828 going to give you the understanding of what, it, what you should be, how you should be thinking. Chris Cook said agriculture senses. You're absolutely right, sir. But we'll get to that. Chris Cook in the chat room with that blurt out. He got ADHD. He just blurt shit out. He got, what's that stuff when you blurt out <laughs> stuff? Uh, <laughs> uh, Tourette uh, disease. Tourette's disease. He can't help it. It just blurt, blurted out. Go ahead. But we're going to get to that, Chris. Don't worry. We got you, King. 
But do you see the significance in St. Kevin and the black bird allegorically put in some form of prophetic what? And then we sitting up here trying to figure out, wait a minute. Wait a minute, that sounds like Man, somebody fucking know, right? Not to get right, all no funny that's... stuff. And then I'm talking about I get the meaning of the black bird in the 1828. Like that that's crazy, bro. Like you ain't make that up. That story, you didn't write that and put it online. <laughs> yes, uh, I did. I, so, I put them in the like, uh the 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 Cav De- the Cav Della effect. For real, like man. And then for Blackbird to have a meaning of black book and man, bro, and even talking about what's the necromancy on, on one of the definitions and then just the uh, the religious houses and how they blacken it, blackening them, man, bro, that's that, that's amazing for real. It ain't no coincidence. No sir. You there? Oh, I'm here. I'm I'm um I'm, I'm speechless. Not that many times that I'm speechless, but I've been speechless for the last, uh, because I'm making relevance of things. I'm not just, just, just talking, Babylon. You go, so I go to St. Kevin. Do you know St. Kevin's cross? Have you seen that? Uh Uh-uh, not yet, but. Okay, I'm going to put it on, (laughs) Just, just Google it real quick so you can see it. As well. It's the solar cross. It is. Yes. It's the key. Well, it's it's the... It's called Kevin's Cross. Bro. That's that's why I right there, bro. That's it. That's exactly what it is. Now, ain't we been looking at this this whole time? Wouldn't that be the phallus in the middle protruding out of the center of uh, Sun calendar. Yeah. yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah. That's the same thing. So they saying what? What is what is Cat Williams saying? This is the anchor. I mean, this is the steering ship, the steering wheel to the ship that they are all wearing right here. Yeah, it is. They they the false or the anti. Say we it want again. Say, who are you? They are the, the, they are the false. They are the anti. They want to run the ship. They are... Uh, Legion. What's the word? Yeah, definitely. 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 Even with... Uh, yeah, with them wearing that and you saying you the king... They making it like it's comedy. Like, ha, like ha, he's ha, exposing nah, their homophobic behavior as if that's a wow because you're involved. Yeah, you there. Of course, if I'm at the party and they uh, 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 drinking, uh, uh, they uh, taking shots, so I know who's taking shots. I'm there. You know? Wow, bro. Like, that's that's some... They doing the same thing with the identity theft. They don't they don't want to name Black Acre, so they gonna do whatever it takes and try to be Black Acre. Wow, bro. They know it's a wrap. Say it again. They know it's a wrap. It's over. I say they know it's over. It don't even look like, bro. I ain't never seen everybody comment on why is why is all of this so important to everybody? Why why is this blowing up? It's on purpose. 
it ain't no, you ain't getting all this free press for nothing just because you're talking about people. It's a distraction, definite distraction. Y'all, y'all not talking about nothing. It's but just the December, industry yeah. with their magicians at it once again. Yes, can. sir. But I'm, I'm, I'm and it's, go it's, ahead. My bad. Go ahead, champ. It's okay. The symbolism yeah, and yeah. everything that, you know, like with the George shirt, George the Phil, when I looked that up, is uh ain't that the wrong that look like the Romanoff dude. That's the Romanoffs. Yeah. I got so him, bro. You really this is, yes. yes You're with the genocide. You're with Sanger and all yes, of them who yes. brought forth. Yes. You you're pledging yes, your allegiance. You merged yourself pledging with your the allegiance. ship. Yeah, of course. You're dead. And you're going underwater soon, Chad. For real, bro. They can't. You know, they, they tell you, you act like he's tell, he telling something new, you know. Talk to the people, bro, but you man. with them. Yeah, like I'm I, I, I'm looking like you with them because why are you at an Illuminati party if you're against the Illuminati or whatever they call Illuminati? So, like, man, it's just a distraction. They, they want to run the ship, they on some Judas Goat mission to mislead the people. So, we won't see. It. But man, you know, we can see most definitely. Damn, this uh, Saint Kevin cross. Yeah, this the exact. It's the exact same thing. Like they want to steer the ship, but it ain't meant for them. They gonna lose the son of perdition style. Wait a minute. <laughs> Straight up. <coughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I just got back. I had to. Uh... You know, when you're doing things, maintenance, yeah, right. maintenance show up. Maintenance, man, maintenance, man. Hold up. We got a great conversation going on, player. But yes, yeah, sir. Sure. So. Yeah, Kev, like, I'm looking like with them doing this, they y'all, y'all ready to take the big loss. Y'all ready to take the big L, the son of perdition style. Trying to run the ship. It ain't meant for them. They didn't blackball him, Wigalicious. You got the wrong idea. He not putting anybody on blast. That's what you don't understand. He's not putting anybody on blast. What, what, what them people do behind closed doors with blast in front of people who are dead? In front of people who do the same thing? Blast to who? People who want to ooh and owl and like you? No, sir. It's to distract. You not peeping the symbolism that's being shown at this point in time. So you need to go straight to the bungalows and start over. You've been here this whole time and you ain't learned nothing. Your speech patterns made the Nickelodeon slide, stepper slide, and you're going all the way back to the bungalows. Thank you. Come again. Go ahead, B. Yo, Kev, like that's the whole point. They, like, that's the whole point of all of this. All of the, all of this is the, all of that's a distraction to keep people from seeing the real, what you present every day. But they ain't gonna be able to do it. They, like, man, they bringing out all the big guns, uh, what they consider big guns. <laughs> they all, all look right, old, look tired, and dull. I look alive and well. I'm like, oh, yeah. like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? And and then it's like some like uh you talk about WWE, man, they on some WrestleMania type deal <laughs> to try to distract you. Like that's why I'm laughing. Oh, 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 the ultimate warrior. I'm like, <laughs> like man, and like, I'm man, like the under I'm like the Undertaker, right? Anytime the lights can go out and dong, here come this nigga. Damn. Mm. For real. Oh, oh god damn is over again. Don't he go to go to bed or something? Don't he go to bed early? <laughs> Lord, night hey. night time. Night night time. So guess what? That's just the beginning of it. So I'm looking at the black bird and the black book as relevance. Now what I need you to do is do what I did because this finna have me bugging out to verify that the book is very relevant to what we're talking about and okay. we're dealing with. Names and the redemption of our people. Sir, could you do me the good favor? If uh okay. let me see here. 
uh, typing in your Google for me the book, in, the little book in the Bible? Press one. The little book in the Bible. Mm-hmm. You know, because the Bible was my little go-to, my little Kobe. Press one. That's my... Okay, the little book. Because I always the try to find the, the yeah the, what what it means in a Bible. Forget me I and my it. little Kevin Brain who likes to play video games and entertain people. <laughs> I tried to, I tried, you know, you go, yes, man. I tried to roll with who got me to the big fight, the big championship. You feel me? I'm sticking with my sure. my guts to my foundation. So I always got to go back to the Bible. So go ahead and type in a little book. In the Bible, and what it what it say? It, it lead me to Revelation. I mean, John ten. Hold on. Uh, it, hold on. It it, let, it lead me back to the Bible uh, to Revelation ten. So what is that? Could you be there for me? 10. Yes, sir. I'm about to pull it up right now. Because I want ten. Yes, sir. Because I want to show the people why my brain was spontaneously combusting for the last hour and a half. And I just had to come back on a computer and decompress. All right. Uh, it's, it's, I'm going to go ahead and start from the top. All right. Revelations 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head, oh. and his face was as it were as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot on the earth. And he cried with a loud voice, and he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roars, and when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. Go ahead. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I saw about, I, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up these things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel, which I saw stand upon the sea, and upon the earth, lift up his hand to the heaven, to heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, and the earth and the things that therein are, the sea and the things which there therein there are therein that were that there should be time no longer oh damn wait a minute but what <laughs> what let me read that so when Ke- when right, Tupac shit. said until the end of time well we just gonna wait read it again it. it says uh and i swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created he- who, who created heaven and the things that there are therein are and earth and the things that therein are and the sea, the things which are are therein, that there should be no time longer. But in the days of the voice of the seven angels, which he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he had declared to his servants, the prophets, and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, go take the little book, which is open in the hand of the angel. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Wow, bro. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? Huh? It's it's clear. It's clear. Huh? Wow. In my Dick Gregory interpretation. What? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> King David, they say, huh? 
Yeah, sir. Sure, that shit right and there. And to the angel of what? It, that it ha- that what, like, could you even understand that if you wasn't that careful? Man, Lord have mercy. Man, clear, crystal clear. I'm gonna read that again. Go ahead, player. Uh, Remix verse- that. We gonna start it over from the top again. I mean, from where he want to get started. Go ahead, King. All right. Verse eight. The voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. Nah. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Huh. And I took the little book out of the angel's hands and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, nations, and tongues, and kings. Wow, kid. Wow, bro. I'm. A, you want me to keep going? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Let's keep rolling. To get a grand understanding. Go ahead. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. A reed, a reed unto like a rod. Yes, sir. What that like, mean? Yes, sir. Like a measuring stick to me. Like a reed. A read, you know, like uh, sir, what they book? Use read. What, I got you, I got you, I got you. What read okay. I've been telling you? All right. What read I've been telling you to get? Uh, uh, what read? Yes, Aaron's rod, sir. The book. Oh, damn, what's wrong with me? Yes, bro, Aaron's rod. Yes, sir. I got it too. He said he gave you a read as to a what? To a unto a rod. Right. Okay. That's the law. Yes, sir. Go ahead. The law. And the angel stood saying, Rise, measure the temple of God and the altar, and them that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple, leave out, measure it not. For it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a, a thousand two hundred and three score days, set, uh, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees, and the two candlesticks standing before the God uh, of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth huh? and devoured their enemies. And the fire fire yes, proceeded out of their mouth. Go ahead. And, the, and, and the, devoured their enemies. Dylon, and if Dylon, any, Dylon, Dylon, and Dylon. Yes, it's just sir. all is being spit is hot fire for all fire. opposition. Go ahead. And if any man will hurt them, That's right. he must in this manner be killed. That's right. In the way then, that he tried to do the hurt, you're going to get hurt. Go ahead. You're going to get hurt. These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophets <laughs> and have power over waters to turn them to blood mm. and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. No. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them. Go ahead. And shall overcome them. The beast shall, do, kill them. Make, shall make war with them, overcome them, and kill them both. Go ahead, read. Yes, sir. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets That's of the right. great city. That's right. Which spiritually is called Sodom. Go ahead. And Egypt. And Egypt. Where also our Lord was crucified. Come on. Yes, sir. 
and they uh it says and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell <laughs> upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. And what they going to do, they going to make, they going to make who? They going to make who? They going to make merry. And then what? Like merry Christmas. And then what they going to do? <laughs> and then what they going to do with the merry? They going to, they shall send gifts to one another. <laughs> and because these two prophets tormented them <laughs> That dwelt on earth. So the prophets who tormented he, them on earth, they was they made Mary Christmas. <laughs> and yeah. pass, <laughs> pass our gifts. In celebration to the death of the saint who was sent here to preach and deliver that hot fire to them. Go ahead. They said, wait, wait. They yes, said, sir. they said, they go to them dudes who was talking. And condemning us for the evil, they gone now. Here, take this twenty dollars. Here's a new Xbox. Yes. They gone. You want some new shoes? It's a great day. Why? They took out the guys who was condemning us for doing bad things. Go ahead. Yes, sir. After the it says after three days uh, and a half, go ahead. the spirit of life from God entered into them, they and they stood upon their feet. That's right. And great fear fell upon them. Which saw who them. And who tried to kill and them. Number them. three days and three and a half days. No jurisdiction. They brought back to life like Jesus out the tomb. That's like a nigga going to jail Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come out Monday, even about six, seven. Praise God. No yes, jurisdiction. Sir. No jurisdiction at all. You going to hell. Go ahead. They got you, King. Go ahead. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, cometh up come up hither and they ascended into heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them uh -huh. and the same hour was there a great earthquake and a tenth part of the city fell uh -huh. and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand and the remnant were afraid. Now, now the, the families afraid. of those 7,000 got on TV and it was like, why God do this to me? He had my little cousin. No. Go ahead. Yes, sir. And the, uh, the remnant were uh, frightened and, and gave glory to the God of heaven. Oh. The second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And the seven angels sounded. And there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdom of this world are become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ and has reign and shall reign forever and ever. And the fourth and the four and 20 elders which sat before God on their seats fell down upon their faces and worshiped God saying, we give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and which was it and which art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and to and the time of the dead that they should be judged, huh? and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth. Mm. And, the and the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the art of his testimony, his testament. And there were lightnings, voices, thunderings, and an earthquake and great hell. Wow, bro. So, wow. so you get a great picture. Here we're talking about we guess we started this whole conversation off of a book and a, and a bird. Off a book. Ain't, now, ain't that something, the book? And he's telling you about the <laughs> where to get <laughs> where, to, where to get the book. Oh. Yes, sir. Right. And now, then it's, now, like, go it's ahead. written already, too. Listen, man, it's, it's already written. written. Already. It's already written. Look, 
Now, Revelation 4 and 1. All right, here we go. Uh, Revelation 4 and 1. Read. Revelation 4. That's right. Just taking it back, back to the temptation. Back to the back to the Isley brothers. We're gonna take them all the way back and find some love in this right now. I mean, this is all about the black book and why the book is significant. Go ahead. You got it? I apologize. No, I, I, I got you. Hold on. All right. Here we go. Revelations 4 and 1. Yes. After, after this, I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven. Go ahead. And the first voice, and the first voice which I heard was as it were a trumpet talking with me, uh. which said, come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and be behold, a throne was set in heaven, mm. and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper ah. and a, a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow around about the throne mm. in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four... Not Emerald City. Go ahead. Right. It says, and around about the throne were four and twenty seats. Upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their head crowns of gold. Wow. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne. Now this is what he saw. This is all prophetic. Go ahead. Yes, sir which are the seven spirits of God. Nah. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass. So the like seven spirits Christ. of God was right there. Yes, sir. Go, go ahead. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. Nah. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Oh. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf. The third beast had a face as a man. Oh. The fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And, now, and now, that sounds like the beast in Revelation. Yes, sir. Now, how that sitting up yes, there sir. in the throne of God? Who's, who did that? It's written already. Go ahead, King. Written. Go ahead, finish that. The four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rested not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when, the, when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him, that sat on the throne, who lives, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that lived forever and ever and cast their thrones, cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things. For thy pleasure, they are and were created. Wow. Yes, sir. So, so Revelation. Oh. What Revelation is that? Revelation. What was that? That's what this is Revelation four. We'll go ahead to five. Now watch this. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to five. Five verse six. No, sir. See, Dang. the Hebrew Israelites don't want me on the corner. <laughs> that boy's going to be you. Said, Wait a minute. Yeah, y'all didn't know y'all was coming to Bible study. Me neither. But y'all here, press one. 
Hit that like button and subscribe. We got 213 people in Bible school. <laughs> they ain't never went to Bible study. They took that out to church. Forget the school. They took Bible study out to church. Look at all these good people. Need Bible study. Look, it's 213, 15 people. That's a bunch of people in one place. <laughs> all right, here we go. Go ahead. Oh, man. Hold on. I, all right. We ain't gonna let nothing stop it. Some technical difficulty. Oh man, Kill. Hold on. No, take your time. Take your time, Kill. Revelation 5. Yeah, it ain't the book my phone tripping. Hold on. Oh. That's all right. Hold on. Okay. I'm over here like, man, are you for real? <laughs> I've been reading this whole time. No problem. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I done lost connection. They don't want it, but uh, we gonna, they going to get it. Uh, it. <laughs> I'm going to run in my house and go get my Bible for real. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Nah, my man. Oh, the Wi Fi. Oh. Real. Oh, no. Oh, man, okay. Lord, that mercy. Hey. Huh? Hey. I, I'm call, man, I'm going to call you right back with the Bible. I'm going to get it. Call me right I'll be, back. I'll call you right back. Call me right back. People in the chat, let me know what you're thinking. I'm right here. He, all right. My man, connection went down. That's what happens at this level. Uh, telecommunication. Lord have mercy. Mm. Mm -mm. So anyway, while we put that on pause, hold up right there until we get back. Let's go back to what I was talking about a little earlier. Can y'all think in y'all little compartmentalized minds in the same manner in this? Cool. So going back to... Uh, Return of the Mac Fierce. Return of the Mac. Right? I was doing my research on that, waiting on Peter to call back. Hold that thought. Right there. And, uh, well, I should hold that. That's going to be a beautiful thing. We gonna, that's that's, that's going to be for the scientific part of the class in a second. I should hold that. Shout out to Crystal Ford. She says, keep, keep doing the knowledge, bro. Shout out to you. I needed that. I needed that. For sure, for sure. For sure. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I just, you know, people say they all into energy and stuff, and but we got the tele telecommunication problem when we get it deep in real knowledge and wisdom. You know, I'm not going outside of no scripture, no nothing, bro. I mean, I'm not saying that we don't talk about things outside of the scripture. Uh, the scripture is my foundation, though. And I think I, we do better. I think people win, including God and letting having a foundation because the, the science of the dead or the religion of the dead, which is science, press one, uh, their trajectory has always been on. So they are never get free. They are stuck unless I give them the answer to E equals MC squared. And that takes, you feel me, the fun out of you, your research capability. I don't want to just slay you that way. I will give you the equation of E equals MC squared. You feel me? But then you have to understand what pi represents in order to get there you must understand what a galess is because if you don't understand what a galess how could you understand the p and if you don't understand the p how could you see them if you can't understand them how could you know press one 
You got to understand the life of pie. If you don't understand the life of pie, how you going to get galas? You won't see it. You won't see, you won't see nothing. You'll be trapped. So, and I just spoke over a lot of their heads. And forgive me because I'm having a little fun with this knowledge that I learned. <laughs> First of all, you know, I got, look, I just solved your whole equation right there. And you got to be smart to even understand what I, what I just said. I said I just solved your whole equation. Press one. See? You, 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 I see. I, either, I'm talking fast or y'all just listening too slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Neither I'm just, either I'm talking too fast or y'all just listening too slow. I gave you the whole equation right there and you ain't even know it. We're going to get back to it. I'm just waiting on, because the pie is the key. Remember? The P is the key. That's why everybody want to be a Gillespie or a Gills or a Gilly right now. Press one. Why they pushing everything but themselves. Everybody want a piece like Nip say. Press one. <laughs> Hit that like button and subscribe. B, is that you? Yes, sir. Talk All to right, me, I'm back. Go ahead. All right. We on Revelation 5. All right. It says, And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. Mm. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Go ahead. Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seal? Go ahead. And no one in heaven or on earth or underneath the earth was able to open the scroll or look at it. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open or and read the scroll or look at it. But one of the elders said to me, do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne of the four living creatures and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb Go ahead. as though it had been slain. Wait. Stood the what? The, the lamb that was slain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Having, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God wow. sent out into all the earth. Come on. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now, when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each having a heart and a golden bowl full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song saying, you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nations and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. And then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10 and thousands of thousands saying in a loud voice. Saying in a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength 
and honor and glory and blessing and every creature which is in heaven on the earth under the earth so as are in the sea and all that are in them i heard saying blessing honor glory power be to him who sit on the throne and to the lamb forever and ever then the four living creatures said amen and the 24 elders fell down worshiped him who lives forever and ever wow bro you want to keep you, you, you want to keep going we can go to six we keep going now i saw when the lamb opened one of the seals i heard one of the four yeah. living creatures saying with a voice like thunder come and see and i looked and behold a white horse he who sat on it had a bow and a crown was given unto him now wait a and minute he said, <laughs> yes sir go ahead this the Go ahead, this the okay. way. Go, go ahead, say what you want, and then continue on. Yeah, this this uh the first seal go ahead. being loose. I'm all uh, right, and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, "Come and see." And look, and I look, and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. Now, who is that? Going out conquering and to conquer, giving a it's bow. It's specific. He has years. a bow, yes. No, no, continue on. We get yeah. back to that. Go ahead. Okay. All right. It says, when he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, come and see. And another horse, fiery, red, went out. And it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth. And the people should, and that people should be killed, should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. Now it says, and when he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, a quart of wheat for a, a Daenerys, and a, a three what? quarts a of what? barley. Say it again. A, a, a quart of wheat for a denarius. That's right. And and three quarts of barley for a denarius. And do not harm the oil and the wine. He opened up he opened the fourth seal, and I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was death. Now, wait a minute. Haiti. Now, wait a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> huh? Got him. Got him. Now, wait a minute, yes, B. Yes, sir. I'm talking to my class. Hold up, B. Hold up, B. Did you hear they what he had, just said? Who is that, B? That that uh, uh, would have to be none other than... Um, then uh, Odin. Odin. You yes, know sir. him as Odin. Yes, sir. Odin. His name is what? Death. His name is Death. And Hades. And hell and everything Street. he come with. Yes, sir. Oh, this is the That's underworld it. and everything you believe in. It's him. I told you I do not like you. It's not that I don't like you or nothing. It's written already. I'm trying to show you so you can turn from your wicked way before the rider on the black horse, on the, on the white pale horse, on the pale horse <laughs> called 
death yep. on you for an eternity. We. Oui. That's that's what I do. Ain't nobody else on the internet can tell you no shit like that. Cat Williams and nobody. I drive this ship right here, right here. Press what? Hit that like button and subscribe and keep rolling. I know it's hard, but it's yeah, hard. this is this is easy work. There's only one captain of this ship right here. My man, my man. I can't believe what you just read. Continue on if you like. Yes, sir. Most definitely. We can't stop now. For real. Never end the story. For real. Yeah, for real. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, it says, and when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was Death, and Hades followed with him. And power was given to them over the fourth of the earth nah. to kill with the sword, with ain't, in with the hunger, name of Allah. Oh. In the name. It says, with death and by the beast of the earth. That's oh. Damn. They was using elephants, yes. lions, anything, anything, and every damn thing. Destroy. Destroy. Yes, uh, Let's go. All right. It says, and when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood wow. on those who dwell on the earth? Wow. Man, well, oh, yeah. man, bro. It says, and then it says, and then a white robe was given to each each of them, and it was and it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and the and brethren who who would be killed as they were was completed. All right, I looked. When he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, Go ahead. and the moon became like blood. Oh man! Blood, moon, and eclipse. Yes, yes sir. Go ahead. And uh, remember that moon. And, people say, and, "I don't know why the moon was that red," and it was. Oh, you going? Oh, you ain't know. Go ahead, King. You got the two. And the stars of heaven fell to the earth. Now, wait a minute. A All the tree. stars have fallen to the earth. And I said it. I said, I'm going to bring all your little stars and your gods and idols down here. Come here. Come here. You come, come down here. Go ahead. It says, the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late fruit when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island were moved out of its place. And the king uh, and the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, That's right. the commanders, the mighty men Every slave, every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountain uh, uh, uh. and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us, hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Wow, bro. I'm that man. You want? I'm gonna keep going to seven. I mean, we can keep going to seven if you want to. 
Let's roll. It says, and after these things, I heard four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, or on the sea, or on any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the, and, or the trees. We have to seal the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. It says, uh, of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 sealed. And after these things, after these things, I looked, and behold, a great multitude which no man, which no one could number, of all nations, tribes, peoples, tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and with palm trees in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice and saying, "Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne." and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne uh, and the elders and the four living creatures and fell on their face before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Praise, blessings and glory and praise, thanksgiving, honor and power and might be to our God and forever and forever. Amen. Amen. And then one of the... Amen. And then one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these arrayed in white robes, and where did they come from? And I said to him, Sir. I mean, God. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. It say that? Yes, sir. No, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Man, come on, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Seven verse fourteen. Never like the seven fourteen. What do you say? What do you say to him? Sir, what do you right, I'm, read it as it says say. just like this. It says, and I said to him, Sir, you know. So he said to me, these are ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sit on the throne will dwell among them. Wait, they wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, sir. So God is living among them. Yep, that's exactly what it's saying. <laughs> yes, sir. Read it over so the old witches in the All back right. and warlocks in the back can hear what he say. He said, "What?" Say I'm, a, I'm a. You want me to go? I'm gonna go back up a little bit more mm. if it's cool. It's cool with me. I just want Sinetta to come up to his old ass RCA speaker so he can hear clear. Go ahead. All right, it says, and after these, after these things, I look, and behold, a great multitude which no one could number of all nations, tribes, peoples, tongues, standing before I the throne. I thought Edomites wasn't going. I thought white people wasn't going. 
It said I, all wait, nations. Wait, now that make a Hebrew Israelite a liar. Yup. Come out of her. It said all nations. Hey, come out of her. Come out of her. <laughs> hey, that, hey. <laughs> done deal. That easy. Like Gene Dill say. Ooh. You got to be told. And now you being showed. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead, King. It's okay. It says, uh, a great multitude which no one could number of all nations, tribes, peoples, tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed robes and with palm tree palm branches in, in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice saying, Salvation belongs to our God mm. who sits on the throne mm. and to the Lamb. Mm. All the angels stood around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God saying, amen, blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders answered, saying to me, who are those arrayed in white robes? And where did they come from? And I said unto him, sir, you know. So he said to me, these are, one, these are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made their and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sit on the throne will dwell among them. That's it. Well, they the Lamb got out. seven spirits of God in him. Yes, sir. Now, wait a minute. How many chakras did young Pharaoh have? They got seven. That's the false light. Yes, sir, uh, Kill. Uh, got them yeah. once again. How many chakras they got? They got seven. Then they go all the way up to their crown chakra and they get some type of uh, lightning. Well, how they ain't know this? That's a false that part. That's demon a demon part of <laughs> <false light>. Demon <laughs> part of it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, got hey. holy, they got the unholy spirit. Then you got the real. unholy synthetic spirit. <coughs> nah, that's what you got. Yes, sir. Uh, unholy synthetic spirit. Fake, based on science and belief. And your trajectory's been off until Mr. Gillespie got here and gonna break down what E equals MC squared means. Go ahead, King. All right. It says, um, and there they are before the throne of God right. and serve him day and night That's right. in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will dwell among them. And they shall neither hunger anymore nor thirst anymore. The sun shall not strike them nor any heat. For the lamb who is in the midst of the throne oh. will shepherd them and lead them to the living fountains of water. Oh. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Wow. Man, wow, bro. Man, I'm going to keep reading to you. That's tell something me Tupac can write know. about. That's something Tupac can write about. Let's be real. Hey, for, what? For real, bro. What? What, what Nip say? Never, never yeah. taught how to drink. I just lead to the lake. Man, it's eighty, it's eighty something degrees late. in LA. Fuck it, time to put some jet skis on LA. He can withstand the heat. For real, bro. Yeah, this man. heat ain't gonna be no, it's gonna be perfect conditions. Man, man, people just don't see. Go ahead, keep reading. You, you know, we talking about the little black book, and and hold that right there because I don't want to miss what we talking about here. Yeah. We, we talking yeah, about sir. the black book. The scrolls, the opening of that thereof. Don't that remind you of what I was trying to teach you about the law of redemption? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
That's exactly what it was, man. Like this, what this this giving us what it look like to be redeemed, Kel. But you, you mean? Know? But you mean? Yeah, like, it just gave you like, what it means to be redeemed. To, to be redeemed. We ain't got to worry about no food, none of that. Everything going to be straight how it's supposed to be. And then having your robe white meaning not in sin. There you go. You know? Having a, having a white robe meaning like I'm not in sin no more. I'm I ain't got to worry about this. I'm not walking in, in the darkness. I'm not dead. I was giving yes, you sir. life. I'm alive. I'm alive. Real. Yeah. And I'm I'm living righteously. I'm 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 striving to be righteous and be holy. To be righteous. Yes. But it's all going back to go ahead. I'm looking like nobody gonna be ain't gonna be no don't do bad things. Everybody got their game together. Cause I'm Maybe. looking like uh when them seals was being open. Like so many people were getting knocked off. Yeah, because because the names no no because the names of the book of life. Remember? Yes, sir. So they already yes, dead, bro. They, they gonna stay. This is not for the dead like that. This is for yeah. for for the sleeping ones. Not completely yes, dead. Sir. You understand? So yes, uh, sir. the law of redemption, what did I prove already? Dealing with what? Uh, with the law of redemption, dealing with uh, salvaging the sal uh, salvaging other people, and even with the ship, you know, uh, even with the ship, or with, with the law of redemption. But just what about the uh, names? The 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 names of the people. Let me, let me they, read. The let... names get redeemed. Okay, okay. They but... can be. Go ahead. I'm looking like the names of the people. They're gonna be alive again, you know, like uh, <laughs> through through adoption. It's dead right now, you know, but they're gonna be alive again through redemption. Like Sister QV trusts the one who he who lives able to do that, you know. So ain't gonna be Wait, no straw man. He who lives of is the Lamb of God. It's gotta be. It's all feeding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He the only one able to loose the seals like we was just reading. That's it. So nobody, he, nobody else could do it. They wouldn't fit. They wouldn't fit to do it. He fit to do it in every way. It, it's made for him to do. That's his job. Yes, sir. Let's play this four minute and 33 minute video so the people who knew here can get a grand understanding of what I'm talking about. Please hold, champ. Yes, sir. Who knew here can get a grand understanding of what I'm talking about. Which would be fee simple, absolute, as they think about it in their culture. Corporate, dead culture, upside down, corporate, dead world. Remember, it's necromancy, so it's not, you can't buy this land. You can only buy to be able to use the land, like lease it to run your little small business. And which is why Disney celebrates all the time. Every 50 years, it's supposed to go back to the original owners. The land cannot be sold at all. Go ahead. Thank you. 
Huh? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me turn this up. Let me turn this up. I'm so glad y'all said that. I'm so glad. Let me turn this up. Let me turn this up. Can you can you hear it? I just want to know if the people can hear it. It'll be, it's the I don't. Somebody said they couldn't hear. I can hear it good. Oh, okay. You can hear it good. Okay. Yeah, I hear it good. They said you can hear it. Um. <clears throat> well, you know what? I don't. If they can hear me, that's fine. That's fine, because I don't want to play technical games with something. The same audience already seen. You got to go check out the law of redemption. Just go check it out. It's about the redeeming of the land and everything my man B just explained. But we've already covered that. Right, B? Yes, sir. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You can Google it. You can YouTube right down in another tab and check it out. So that's good. And check out one of the, the, the other videos but, that you did where it's going to be clear. Yeah, but we just did it yes, now. Sir. So you may, that may be yes, just sir. all you needed to hear. For real. Hit that like button and subscribe. But uh, uh, it all makes sense. Now, I went into their world of science, right? And I'm like, uh, since I'm talking about this, um, some are redeeming and stuff like that. I went back into the names, right? And I'm making it fit, right? Okay. And I'm making it fit. Touch not the cat, but the glove, the McPherson clan, the all of these great things. Gilly, uh, Gillespie, uh, Mac Mac Gilles. Press one. Now you got the same names written in Mac mode. From Leary to Mac Leary. From Gillespie to McGilles, uh, McGills. Or <laughs> my bad, that's McGills. <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> but I want to, I want to, I want to give this some thought, right? Because I got it on the screen, okay. right here. Which is why I see why they created this character, Gilly the King. Because he was Gilly the Kid before I came. <laughs> or is he saying he's the yep. man child who bought? Who just sold out? I don't know what I don't know what message they're trying to convey via media. Playing all these roles, which they they can't. It's they not the real. They the false version. That's why each one got to get a little piece because they can't handle the whole deal. Like, they can't handle the little part. Okay. So yeah. So I yes, get sir. the. I get the guy, the Gillespie, the Gillespie, I get this, right? So I'm looking in the science of it all. You know, they shit. And I say, okay, Gilly, under the clan of McPherson, right? Scott is right type shit. It appears what it would have looked like on our television, like some way out shit. Um, you know what I was trying to, figure out what was the answer to see what makes it P Pi Gilles Pi and we did oh, research man. on these names and I'm tripping right so I said to myself what makes it Gilles Pi Right, and I'm taking into account all of this stuff I've been going not not yeah going through, but thinking about for the last few hours. So I broke it down. Okay, let's just leave it. Gilles, what would be the pie? A name is saying right. a lot. Say it. Say it again. Now, when you say pie, I'm thinking about don't they got pie in man? Bingo. Yes, sir. And that's pi square root. Yes, sir. Okay. 
pi square root. Hold on. It, see, upside down, pi square root, well, it's like death square to me. Like mm -hmm. Albert Einstein, oh. pi square root. And then we was talking about this with the Albert Einstein. That's death square. E equals MC square right. was death square. We was going over this. Okay, that'll be the pi. If you can kind of understand what I'm saying, pi, mathematically. You ever see that movie, The Life of Pi? Oh, man. I'm going to be honest. I think I did, but I can't remember it. So, uh, dang, no. Nah. Tell me about it, Q. Well, I did. I never seen it. But I do know okay, nah, I ain't he's on the boat with this tiger. Oh, okay. That's what that was. I seen, like, trailers of it. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But but but, but also but pi is pi square root. What is pi? I was all contemplating this shit when we went off the air. Three fourteen equals him. So so three fourteen, let's go to the pi square root is three fourteen one five nine two. Uh-huh. Now B from yeah, Ohio listen. say three fourteen. Is what? So only three fourteen I know is John. Three fourteen. Yeah, that's how my brain works. People go to numerology, yeah. people go to all this other stuff. I go to the Bible. I just be like, man, that's too Take crazy. To the Bible. Yeah. And it always keeps it <laughs> fun and it is like I learned so much. I'm like like wow. It's a, it's a more of a wow for me. Wow, Tim. Huh? Yeah, guess who? Guess who talking? It's in red letters, and I'm I, I'm ready to read it, bro. Go ahead. John three fourteen. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, go ahead. Even so, the Son of Man be lifted up. Wow, bro. The son of the son of who? The Son of Man be he, lifted up. Ah. The brazen serpent. So what did, what did, so. Oh. <laughs> the, the square root of pi is the, the Son must be lifted up. The Son of Man must be lifted up as a brazen serpent. <laughs> Look at this man. I want the audience to know what B just said. He said the sun root of pi is what? The sum, what's the sum root of pi? <laughs> he don't, he don't got smart. Well, forget it. E equals MC squared. The pi is the son of man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the son of man be lifted up. That goes back to the brazen serpent. And the healing, redemption, they they gotta look up they gotta look up on it just like in the days of Moses. Wow, bro. Damn. Wow, bro. And that's Christ speaking, red letter. Wow. Yes, sir. I might as well read. It's part of the quote. I gotta. I'm a. I'm a. If you want, I'm gonna keep reading what he said. Go ahead. All right, fourteen. It says, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the son of man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God did not send him send his son into the world to condemn the world but the world through him might be saved wow. he who believes in him is not condemned but he who does not believe is condemned 
already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son oh. of God. This is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men love darkness come on. rather than the light. Come on. Because the deeds were evil for who for everyone practicing evil hates the light. Come on. And does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. Ah. But he who does the truth comes to the light, and his deeds may be clearly seen that they have they have been done in God. Wow, bro. Wow. Wow, bro. That was straight from Christ. They say they believe Christ. They got to believe that. That's it. Wow, bro. What's what's First John three fourteen? All right, that was John three fourteen. Let's go to First. Let's go to First John three fourteen, sir. I don't even like. I'm not playing no more. Let my sweater go. Let me put a microphone. I'm not playing no more. Keep playing. <laughs> they didn't know I was this smart. I got it. I ain't trust me. I know y'all ain't know I was this bright. I know that, bro. That's why I don't hold no hard feelings towards nobody. Cause how could you know? I got. I'm fresh. I got a crooked hat. Press one. I'll be clowning around talking about press one like I got a speech impediment. You would never know. I All get right, trolled every day. I'm on the air telling you what. Call in. You don't got no question? Yeah, that's crazy. You ain't got no question. It's crazy. Go ahead, King. Okay, here we go. First John 3.14. Read. We know that we have passed from death to life. What? Because, man, hold on. Read it again. Okay, here we go. This is better than Hebrew Israelite class. Huh? My class better. Read, they read it again. Read. <laughs> we know that we have passed from death to life. Go ahead. Because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. Wow. Say it again. 15. I'm 14 again. We know that we have passed from death to life. Because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. Come on. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. Go ahead. And you know that no murderers have eternal life abiding in him. Talking. Wow. Okay, so wow, you so bro. so don't know ain't no murderer. None. I don't care what your gang banging status is. I don't care what gang it is, what number. Oh, you you you've already bought into death. No, you're not finna mama mama your way out of this one. Go ahead. It's written. It says, "All right, by this we know love, because he laid down his life for us, and we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoever has the world's goods." and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? That's Floyd Mayweather. My, little my favorite boxer. Go ahead. My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed Come on. and in truth. Come on. And by you say, this, let us in we deed, know. In deed and in what? And and in truth. And in truth. So love. And by this. In, yes, in, sir. In, there's love in truth. There's so much love in truth. God said, God said this is how you're supposed to love. Well, who turned this into yes, a sir. Mickey Mouse fairy tale? Go ahead, read. That means I love this, everybody know. more than they ever thought. If I get on the air and do this, right, B? Yes, sir. For sure. 100%. Yes, sir. Go All ahead. right. It says, and by this, we know that we are of the truth and shall, 
and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our hearts condemns us, God is greater than our heart and knows all things. That's right. But love, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence towards God. And whatever we ask, we receive from him. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing to his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he he gave his commandments. Uh-oh, Kill. Yes, you see it? We got one more, this verse. Go ahead. This verse, it says, uh, now he who keeps his commandments abides in him, and he, and he in him. And by this we know he abides in us by the spirit whom he gave us. Wow, Kill. Man. He has given us. Now, that says the title before that, this one verse says, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Now, go ahead. Wow. I'm going in the four. Now, gonna, now this, right, is, says, this is First John? It's First John. Huh? Go ahead. It's First John. Okay. Beloved, do not believe every spirit. Test the spirit, whether they are of God, because... Many false prophets have done have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Ah. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. That's right. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist. Ah, you, now wait a minute. That's them over yes, there. Sir. Hold up. So they telling me who Antichrist is. Now who was the spirit of Antichrist? Is a Christ denier. That he came and walked denier. the earth and you slain him. Yes, sir. Only to find out yes. like, like the two witnesses is slain and after three days and a half days be raised up. Right, right in their face. Right back there. That's right. Yes, sir. Go ahead, King. Okay. All right. Um, it says, um, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. That's right. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist. That's right. Which you have, which you have heard was coming. And is now already in the world. Come on now. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the, the world. world. They are of the world. That's right. Therefore, they speak as the world. That's right. And the world hears them. That's right. We are of God. That's right. He knows. He, he who knows God hears us. That's right. He who is not of God does not hear us. That's right. By this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Well, that's wow, right. Wow. So let's break it down. These are the wow. two differences. Jesus tell you in John 16, he's going to send the spirit of truth and what he's going to do to prove, to tell you the difference between him and all the rest of them. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. They might be here. All right. I'm going to keep going. It says, But love, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. And he knows, and he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. That's right. And this, the love of God, was manifested towards us that God has sent his only begotten son into the world 
that we might live through him. That's right. And in this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us wow. and sent his son to be the propitiation wow. for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. That's right. Yes, sir. No one has seen God at any time if we love if we love one another, God abide in us, and his love has been perfected in us. That's right. By this, we know that we abide in him, he in us. So, so is this, the, is this the I am God complex? No, this is a spirit oh. saying, and, yes, and, and they said, wait a minute, we know he lives in us. Not that we are. This whole I am God and we are the little G and all this is why you what got you in this position. Go ahead, King. For real. All right. Oh. Um, and this is love. Not that we have loved God, but God loved us. And sent his son to be, uh, oh, okay, hold on, let me go back. Uh, I went too far. Uh, okay, by this, we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God God abides in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has, has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Okay, love has been uh, perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness, in the day of judgment, no. because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he loves. He first loved us. If in, if someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. That's For right. he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not, who he has not seen? That's right. And this commandment, we love God. And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. However, believe that Jesus is the Christ, is born of God, and everyone who loves him, who, beg who begot also loves him, who is begotten of him. By this, we know that we love the children that that hold on let me read that again by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments the law and his commandments are the law yes sir yeah. and it says they are not burdensome yeah. for Whatever is born of God overcome the world. That's right. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. That's right. Our faith. That's right. Who is he that overcome the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the son of God. Wow, bro. This, 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 this is, is he. Go ahead. This this powerful, bro. <clears throat> this is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, 
not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit who bears witness because the spirit, because the spirit is truth. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. And these three are one. Now the Trinity is said again. The Father, it said, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. The Father, the Word, and the Holy and, Spirit, and the Holy which Spirit. is the Spirit of truth. Yes, sir. The spirit is truth. The spirit of truth. Yes, sir. It is real. Re Go ahead. Yes, sir. And there are three that bear witness on earth. Huh. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And these are uh, these all agree as one. If we receive the witness of men, the wellness of the 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 witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God which He has testified of His Son, and He who believes in the Son of God has the witness in Himself. He who does not believe God has made Him a liar, because He has not believed the testimony that God has given his son. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in is in his son. And wow. He had and he who has the son has life. And he who does not have the son of God uh does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Yes, sir. So if they don't got the name, if they don't got the Son of God, they got uh, Odin. They got the son of perdition. They got the son of perdition. They got the Yes, sir. Which, yep, they they got already they already lost. Yes, sir. You got the son of okay. perdition, or you got the son of God? Oh, the son of man, which is the yes, same. Sir. Which is go ahead, King. Yes, sir. The, the, the same. Okay. It says now this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. If we know that he uh, hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the we have the petition that we have asked him. If anyone sees his brother sinning, a sin which does not lead to death, he will ask. And he will give him life for the. He will give him life for those who commit sin, not leading to death. There is sin. Lead, there is sin leading to death. I do not say that he should pray about that. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is sin. Not lead, and there is sin not leading to death. Let me be clear. Right. Uh, okay, it says, and we know whatever is born of God does not sin, but he who has been born of God keeps himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. He knows that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true. 
and his son, Jesus Christ. And this is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. Go ahead. <laughs> Little children. Well, now wait a minute. That was it, right? <laughs> Little children. Keep yourself from idols, and we out like that. Okay. Amen. Mic drop. Mic drop. That's what I'm saying. Like, amen. <laughs> word. Word. Say word. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. That was that, a lot. That, that was, was straight. That was a lot, but it, he know everything. You've been saying it's already written, bro. And they're going to recognize God, Christ, and the spirit of truth. They have no choice. So, the, so, the, so, the, so, the, so, the, of course, because Jesus tells them about the spirit of truth. But yes, we're going we to get to that, 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 that this is a historical event. So, a historical thing we're talking about here. A lot of people have never heard this, especially from no brothers in their entire life. Even from Saint Kevin to this, to the Blackbird, to the Black, to the to the Black Book. Wait a minute. And then, then bam, you take them and show them in the eighteen twenty eight dictionary. Boom, undeniable. The Black Book, the Blackbird goes to the Black Book, and Thanks. then boom, you, we boom, revelations in the Word already reading. Come on. The book is there, loosening of the seals right. and everything that go with it. Right. Everything that go with it, bro. So, and then you explaining us about Christ and Odin and death, life and death. It's all written now. That's it's right. all written now, just like the names in the book. That's right. Just like the names. How you know about the names in the book? The names in the book. We talked about it. it. The, the, man, he, yeah, we talked about it. And then another thing, I noticed, kid, when we was what's, reading that scripture, what's that? it talked about the saints calling out to God to get revenge for him. That's All right. I could think of the catacombs while I was reading. That's I didn't right. want to forget to say that, bro. That's right. They calling out. That's right. Like, man. So that's what, it, that's what I'm saying. The blood of the saints is on their hands. Is on their hands. Yes. Yes, sir. So this little black yeah. book. What we gonna be reading if I get enough support? Because guess what I found? What's that? I found Adam Gilles. Yeah. Without the P I E. Adam Gilles. Yes. Guess where I found it at? Where you find that one in? In a little black book. <laughs> Press one. Man, yeah, the black book. I got it right here. It's called The Black Book or Corruption Unmasked. Press one. We're going to be reading this. Guess what it's about? Ooh. Being an account of places, pensions, sin cures, the revenues of the clergy, and landed art and landed, uh, landed aristocracy. Uh, era, uh, you know, aristocracy, er, you know, like aristocrat. Yeah, aristocracy. Yeah, the aristocracy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the salaries and the emolutions of the courts and justice and the police departments, the expenditure of civil list, the amount of application of the hit that like button and subscribe and contribute to this page. The droids of the crown and admirality, the robbing of the charitable foundations. The profits of the Bank of England arising from the issue of its notes, balances in public money, management, and the Bureau Department, and other sources of in, emolument. We're going to find out all this. The debt, revenue, and influence of the East India Company, the State of the Finances Department, uh, Finances, Debt and Sinking Fund. Press one. I said the sinking Aww. fund. My man said all oh, day. Uh, to which is added correct list of so I was like, wow, yeah, 1820. I was like, wow. Uh, so I had to well, say I got real receipts. Yeah, I got real receipts. Yeah, I'm talking about receipts. yeah they yeah, playing, bro. Receipts. Yeah, yeah, they playing. I, I got all the names. And so I go all the way down because this is like the end of the world. So we doing our thing. You know, why not? It's the end of they shit. 
We finally go all the way down. Until I, I think I'm on 44. Press one. Cause you know me, I'm trying to see what 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 what's in it for me. You know, I am a Democrat. <laughs> you know, I had to sneak a peek, you know. But I found uh, Elizabeth and get yeah, where we at. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm just so excited, man. This is one crazy, crazy, crazy day. We got Glenn Word, da, 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 da. here it is. Adam Gilles, Gilles, uh, Gilles, like we've seen it in the McPherson way of writing Gillespie without, without the P-I-E. That was going back to the McPherson tribe. If people was paying attention, I had it on the screen. Uh, Adam, right? Lord of Session and Justice, Judiciary. Comm Commissioner, Civil Jury, Court. Right? Lord of Session and Jurisdiction, uh, uh, Justice, Justiciary, like Justice Ishiary. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that word. No, nah, I'm with you, damn. Yeah, but this is 1820. It's 1820. Corruption unmasked, wow, the unbalanced budget, the money mismatch. Corruption unmasked. Uh, corruption that? unmasked. Yes, the black book. Oh, oh man. So if it's unmasked, then it's but it's the, what did we, we find out? The robbery of the charitable trust. It says right here the rob yes, robbery sir. of charitable foundations, and it's listing all of the, the whole robbery. And who was robbed? These and, 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 yes, sir. Wow, That's why I said. Man. Remember, I told you I got. So they got to pay, huh? They got to pay back double. They yeah. got to pay back triple. Because it's the original it's mo mo monarchy. This is the patriarchy. Look, wow, bro. yeah, all the names right here in in in. And they had to find a way. Remember I told you about the loans, the Liberty Bonds, and all of these things during the Great War, World War One and Two. They wrote it that they wrote every name down. They got to because it was already on paperwork. Uh, and then for George, them to do the identity. George course, Robinson, director of the East Indian Company. This is like who you're up against. That's your that's your federal government, bro. They charging them. They charging the whole admiralty. Damn, take it, take it from the land and put it under the sea. Bingo. Identity. Identity theft. It's the place you, And then, and then, I, say it again. It's the what? I, it's the morale. It's the morale. You know, like we, yeah. These are the names on the, the Titanic. No, no like stop right now. Hold up. This is the names on the Titanic. Not like this. Yes, what? Sir. You'll prove me wrong. Not like this. I don't found the Titanic. Niggas. These are names. What? What's a black book in today's hey, time? Bro. This is all the nobles. This is all that stuff. It's on record. Wow. How much they getting paid? So you know how much each wow, wow, bro. Yeah, this is what this is what is how much they this is all the marbles. Somebody said, let his sweater go. Reginald said, let his sweater. Let his sweater go. Let my shit go, bro. Let him rip. It's over, bro. What corruption unmasked, y'all? Cavro University. This is why y'all spend all that money on y'all tuition. To come here. Press. Ha, 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 I told you, charge me up, it's over. You feel me? Charge me up. My man said, let his sweater go. Talk about reparations. And we already read by law, it's triple. So don't worry, everybody, everybody, don't worry. 
what I'm what we talking about here is uh 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 oh my goodness. Look, uh Hun said again. The book of names. The book of names. The book of because these names were put on dowries. A lot of these names, uh, these names, and what what, I, what we're gonna be breaking down in the coming near future is going to be a description of what it's all for, what it's all about. Who the nobles were, why they had to take the ship down. Press one. Yes, sir. Why? Man, Q. Huh? They had, they had to take the ship down to, to take it over. To put it in, to moor it? So look, so... The, more, to the moor, to, to tether on to, to it, tether it, and, on to it and put it in... Are yes, they, so they're dead and they tethered to the bodies, creating a crypt old currency debt on top of the collateral, which is the dead nobles and the dead People. Looks like part of the Magna Carta and the trustee cup. There you go. It looks like the Magna Carta. Well, we're we talking about Sescuve here. Yes, sir. And then that's murder. There's oh, no, wait. Say, uh, say it again. That's your limitation. So, that's murder. So, what do you think this that's is? Premeditated about? murder. What do we, premeditated murder. You don't even have to do it. They did it. Remember Look, we were reading? They already did it. Look, it, it say right here. Owning to the demise of the late king. Oh, wow. And revenues revert to the crown and all the assembling and the boom, boom, boom. February 14, 1820. Was that Valentine's, Valentine's Day? Day? Oh. That's they believe. Oh, St. Valentine. Wow. Massacre. Massacre. Saint Valentine's Day massacre. Oh. Day massacre. They put it on like something this. else. This probably this is the real one. Not like wow. this. I told y'all to support Kev. Don't charge me up. Shout out to Lewis with that fifteen dollar contribution though. Shout out to you for seeing the truth. Adrian for being a slow learner, but God is good. Thanks, Kev. This bay. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. Adrian, I see you. Taj, I see you. What up? Talk that shit. Now, I got the receipt. I got the truth. I got the black book. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Got him. Got him. Man, bro. You got him. Already. You just barely read it. And that, wow, that's incredible. Valentine's Day Massacre. The real one and everything that go with it. Wow. Now watch this, though. So the life of pi in Gilles, pi in the E, that equals MC square root of the pi is what? The root of pi is Christ. <laughs> What the E stand for? <laughs> Press what? Yes, sir. Get that like button and subscribe. Wow, the root of pie. Uh, go ahead. Dang. You done broke them down. Man, you done broke them down from the mathematics to the square root of pi all the way to this list. Man, I'm looking forward. And they can't deny the, the Gillespie. They keep they keep trying to deny it or make it like it's not real, but either way it go, it's right there. And and you done proved it with 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 this with the uh the gills, the gill minus the pi. I'm like, wow, bro. Man, it ain't no way around it, bro. It's ordained, it's written too. From the Bible to hi to history to mathematics, science. Wow, bro. And E equals MC square. <laughs> Ain't that what it said? MC. What's that one? Yes, sir. MC. 
Ain't that the Mac? <laughs> That's short for <laughs> Mac. There you go, <laughs> sir. All wow, the bro. way around. All the way around. All the way around. Damn. That's why their alchemy is to put you in the square circle. Mm. I'm Floyd Mayweather here. Yes, sir. Undefeated. Undefeated, bro. Wow, man. Somebody's beef from Ohio say no matter how you write it, this is the same answer. So Gillespie, <laughs> Gillespie, return of the Mac is the return of the Mac. What is the Mac? Yeah. Who's the Mac? Who really is the P? Is it pimping or is it the P? Is it the pie? Is it the P? Gillespie, it's the, the pie. pie. But you couldn't see him like Tupac say. Not in your wildest dreams. You got to be colored. You must be colorblind. That's what Tupac said. Mm. You must be colorblind. You can't see him. That's it, bro. The we P even read is it. the key. What? We even read it. They can't see you, kid. It's <laughs> so even what, in the Bible. So what's the what's I, the so the P is the what? The P is the key to the <laughs> whole equation to everything. <laughs> so wherever you go, if you got the key, you you can get in. You know it. Now, they trying to make a uh, makeshift key that they ain't make right. You know when you go get the key made. And, well, well, what did the right, Bible say? You, you can't, can't go door. through no other door but the front door. The front door. They trying to hey oh they back door job. Yeah, boom. They back door the king. Wow, bro. Wow. They say anybody who tries to back door, that you curse. There it is. It's a robber and a thief. And a robber and a thief. Look what the title is. Look what it say. The look at him. Look what it say. It said uh they Amarini, the robbery of the charitable foundations. That's the church. Oh ah. Ah. got him. Uh Percocet. Molly Percocet. F mask off. Fuck it be mask off. Perkinson. For real. Yeah, man. They done. All right. Uh, Andre 2000. Yeah. Mask off for real. We talking about the, the masquerade is over. That masquerade. Party is over. The party's, the party's over. over. You rolled it till the wheels fall off, nigga. Round of a fucking applause. Because I'm in the audience. For real. Nigga, and I'm clapping for you. Good fucking job, sir. What Nip say? Almost. Almost. <laughs> well, what would it care yeah. say? Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong yes, one. sir. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Dang, boy. They, that's busted. I'm I'm 10th Avenue in High Park. That's me. Apartment 18. That's me. High Park Elementary. Junior. Um, uh, what is this? Horse man during high school. Slauson at Crenshaw. Slauson and Hyde Park. The donut shop. Yeah, I'm right there. Miss Booker with the Bible. Taught me the word and everything. Press one. That's why I'm tripping off of these little boys and little girls playing this little game. Y'all showed they me got the just how foot. real it is. RZA couldn't do nothing against this. No, sir. They got the wrong script. They writing scripts. The huh. script already read. You better honor your old fast and serve the king. That's what you better do. Press one. We got the black book right here. The whole robbery. Everything we read in scripture right here. The Bible said he going to get right. the book from the bird and from the angel with the, with the what in his hand? With the book in his right hand. With the book in oh, his hand. Me. That's where he was going to get the book from. Guess who had the book? Saying Kevin. Who had the book? <laughs> yes, sir. Ain't nobody going to be able to deny this when I'm finished with him. Saying Kevin had it. It's written. They got it right there. Mm. 
Now we got the black book. Starting with Adam. Fool. Who, where everybody died in Adam. Ain't that what scripture say? Everybody died in Adam. The first. The, the first Adam, but the, the second Adam, everybody in life. So, uh, pff, yes, so, so if I'm reading this correctly, page 44 say Adam Gilles. And so there must be another one. That's why it's the return of the Mac. No, you don't. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. St. Kevin. Huh? St. Kevin. You see why I was walking around oh, like okay. like a Cuban Gooda Jr. when he was swinging at the air? I did all that. I couldn't breathe. I opened the door, went outside. The sun was beaming. Ah, the crows was around. Ah, the blackbirds is tripping. And I said, I'm going to go back on the computer. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, because I've taught so much. You know, and, and you know, I often you know, get discouraged, not lose faith. You get discouraged, and if the message uh, of it all is being received, and then comes fourth and forty-four. Press one. Ah, the flea flicker reverse always. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, they, they, they don't know when that will come, and it just happened. Boom! It's showtime. It's showtime. Yes, Champion. Yes, sir. It's showtime. Who said that? It's showtime. What? For real. It's done good. It's, it's on. Like, it's on. You got proof of pump for now the black book. Man, come on. I'm 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 gonna be honest, like, bro. Like on every level it just keep happening. It's ordained. It's written. They can't beat that. They can have all the Hollywood writers they want. They they can write a more perfect. <laughs> hey, look, story. High Parks. This is where I grew up. I grew up on High Park. I just said that. It's in the it's in the black book. It's in the black book. Oh man, that's for me, Nip. Oh, we grew up there on High Park. That's what elementary school he. Donated that stuff too that people see him at the school with the basketball. That's my elementary school. Right across the street wow, bro. from the apartments him and Laura London was selling weed out of. That's what. In the video, that is. Wow, bro. They, they had to write it down. How could you not? It's what keeps the wheel turning. And Judgment Day right. from occurring because this is murder. And Judgment is it's to the plaintiff. Press one. This is murder. You know, killed the king and made movies and laughed about the shit and set time in memorial and all of this stuff. Dang, bro. This place, everything. That's murder, treason. Oh man. What's wow, the man. what's the penalty for trafficking the Jews? The precious Jews of God. Genocide what they like. and the Holocaust and yeah. writing them out and placing a whole foundation and church of necromancy on the saints. The, the it's the wages of the sin. Is what? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's a deal. That's 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 a no no. You not only curse yourself, you curse your, your the whole lineage. Children. The whole lineage. We would know this because we suffering from the curses of Deuteronomy right now. Yes, sir. Ain't nowhere they can run to, like we reading, talking about get hide under a rock. You can you wouldn't you want to hide under a rock if somewhere down real. the line you and the bloodline good. of Christ and the old people came back and said, Wait a minute, man, you murdered the royals and put them underground. Press one and them as our forefathers. 
press one. Yep, you can't hide from me. You can't hide no more. I don't want to be confused with rap no more. Man, I want God to kick y'all ass. That's what I want. You're not going to be able to hide in the caverns like the Jews in in, in New York? For real, you, you build your bunkers, it's not going to even matter. It don't even matter. That American flag ain't going to help you. When you look in that soldier eyes and then they look in your little pretty eyes, whatever color you is, and he say, we thought them steel walls right there was going to hold it back. Uh-uh. The Bible said y'all going to pray that the rock crush y'all rather than f face judgment. That's worse than Enron. We see y'all jumping out of bu buildings when y'all get caught in regular-ass scandals and get the uh, doing all the time. My money's over, man. Pow. Imagine if you've done this and the people started to wake up and our forefathers who live in us and God who lives in us and we to them, bro, woke up to this deadness in our heart, bro, and came alive and actually charged you with murder. I mean, that's judgment of the Lord. That's in God we trust. Yes, sir. That's the rod of the Aaron written like in the book of George Washington Gillespie. Pick it up like I told you to. It's a weapon. You're going you gonna to understand every word that's coming out of my mouth like Chris Tucker say. Straight up. Man, bro. I'm like one of these little kids right now. Me like, too. Oh, you in trouble. Now I know. <laughs> That's how I felt. Now I know. Y'all finna get y'all ass a whooped. Them people is. For real. You telling me that, yep. And they place y'all in the catacombs and under the church. What's at the church? The calendar. Yeah. Adam's calendar. Press one. Once again, he go Kev with the P. The Chiro. Press what? Man. You know, the Chiro is the representation, is what they said Constantine had to show that Christ, uh, they were doing this for Christ. Hey, they messed up. Yo. Dang, bro. That, that is the seed of Satan. This whole little thing right here looked like the kingdom of Satan. In fact, in fact, under in the catacombs, it say the empire of the dead. The yeah. empire wow. of the dead. Wow, bro. Okay. This ain't no movie. That, that's, it's not. It's real. Super real. Oh. Right? You know how to just, right? That's right. It's super real. Wow, bro. They messed up, bro. So Skull and Bones is the empire of the it. dead. And they represent That's right. Like it's something good. So they can't you can't take your hands off of it now. Yes. That's what you wanted. That's what you represent. Hey, you with it. If you being what the how the scripture said, those that are uh being evil be evil still. Yes. Be evil still. No, 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 no. Keep going be doing evil. what you were doing. Go ahead. Don't change now. Because you, you see a, a prophet of God and you thought he was just a pothead. Don't get mad mm -hmm. now because you thought Polite was a prophet and laughed at Mr. Gillespie when my name is on the founding fathers over here on this side of the land. And it's a reason for that. I'm changing. Hey, yeah, if they can make a saint anything, I'm Saint Kevin. Damn it, I'm gonna be the new one. Press one. So look at this. <laughs> yeah, straight <laughs> up. Press, nah, no, yeah, bro. Up. I'm Saint Kevin. No, nah, that's, that's a statue. For real. My name alone goes all the way back from Kevin Bryan to whatever it is. You know what it is. So. Wake up. You got a whole dead nation in which the Catholic Church, Satan, and who, where does Satan see this? Right there in Rome. How you know? Because that's what Peter is. Yep. In his basilica. 
And yeah, that's where that's where that's where Peter is. Peter was hung upside down and did what? He yeah, he was hung upside on. down. He didn't want he, well, they said he said he couldn't be uh done like Christ, but that's what it is, bro. That's they, right. He wanted to sit I mean, in that seat. That's right. He got a judgment. So what do what do Peter mean? The rock. Peter, the rock. The rock, our stone. Sound familiar? Okay. Ain't that we've been talking about stone? Falling yep. from falling from the moon? Yup. Huh? Dang. Falling down from the moon. What? In the east. Like, what? Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey. What? Left, right, uppercut. Now hold up. <laughs> now I behold Satan that fell from heaven like a lightning strike. Hit his fool, come like a moon particle down to the earth. But guess what his name was before? Uh, a rock or stone. A white stone at that. <laughs> his name was Simon. A white stone. What does Simon mean in the Greek? Let's see. I believe it's the same. Let's see. I'm gonna guess. Come on, let's get back to it. I know said back there like Kev is on fire. Oh, said. Yes, sir. Press button. Oh, I told you I couldn't wait till the morning. I had to come now so y'all can be ready for the morning. <laughs> Simon in Greek, uh, meaning listener or hearer. Uh, oh, damn. <laughs> it says, it is also a classical Greek name deriving uh, from an adjective meaning flat nose. <laughs> <laughs> damn, bro. Flat nose, Peter. Flat nose, Simon, bro. Flat, so, flat nose, damn. Simon. Let me ask you something. Flat nose. Sir. Let me ask you something. Yes, sir. Can a flat nose or a slit nose be in the kingdom of, of God? I'm looking for the scripture now. The answer is no. It says no flat nose. <laughs> Hold on. No. And that it 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 Yeah. Uh, it means it means to cut off, ah, like the Levitical laws say. And get, that's exactly where it is. In Leviticus. Leviticus, <laughs> Leviticus twenty-one eighteen. Go ahead. Let's get it. Oh my goodness, man! Nah, so y'all worshiping Peter, huh? And y'all listening to Peter, who who Satan, who got, who Jesus called, who? Uh huh. All right, here we go. Go ahead. All right, we got uh, Leviticus twenty one eighteen. It says, "For any man who has a defect shall not approach a man. Uh, shall not approach." A man blind or lame who has a a marred face. A what face? Or any limb. A marred face. A marred or face. Any, or any limb uh too long. A man who has a broken <laughs> foot or I'm broken sorry. hand. I'm sorry. Or a or a hunchback <laughs> or a oh. dwarf. <laughs> or a man who has a defect in his eye. Uh oh. Who got Noah what? Oden, who has a defect in his eye. Go ahead. Or uh, eczema or scab. Go ahead. Or is eunuch. No, no man of a of the descendants of Aaron, the priest who has a defect, shall come 
near offer the offering made by the fire to the Lord. Go ahead. He has a he has a defect. He shall not come near to offer bread to his God. He may eat bread uh, he he may eat the bread of God, both the the most holy and the holy. Um only only he shall uh not go near the 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 veil or approach the altar because he has a defect lest he profane my sanctuary for I for I the Lord sanctify them. And Moses told it to Aaron and the sons and to all the children of Israel. So all right with me reading that uh eighteen I read it out. This uh, let's see what it's saying in KJV, because that's what it's gonna say straight flat nose. Blind man. Yeah. All right. In the KJV, it says, "For whoso, uh, it says, for who, whatever man had he be that had a blemish, he shall not approach a blind man or a lame or he that has had a flat nose oh. or any." Anything superfluous, or a man with a broken foot. Now, or a okay, hand, we got it. Stop or, right there. Stop right there. Yeah, but we got it. Flat. Yeah, it's right there. Flat uh, nose. That's right. Now, Peter is flat nose. <laughs> yes, sir. Let me say it again. That's <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Peter, Go ahead, who dude. Jesus called Satan, is flat nose. Simon like Suge Knight's name is, is also Peter, the betrayer of Christ. Mm. Press one. Dang. Damn. Yes, uh, damn. Yeah. Dang, bro. Dang. Did that work. Yeah. Dang. Whose name was around Nipsey? Now say that again. Who was around Nipsey? That's right. Oh, shoot. Huh? Who was the Peter, the flat nose, was it? or stone around Nipsey? Sir. Man, would that be Cowboy? Is his name something? No, Cowboy. Okay, I, I just want to make sure I'm right. <laughs> uh, right is the rapper named Jay Stone? Oh, snap. The bro. person said Jay Z, but Jay Stone. Jay Stone. Yeah, you're right. Oh man. Jay Stone. You have to look at these situations from a biblical perspective and know the roles that people play. Press one. This is the world of the dead, gentlemen. For real, bro. There ain't nothing out here. Do you see the biblical perception of that? Yeah, I definitely do, Dang. too. I definitely do. Then he's riding down Slauson in the white Lamborghini. Rambo. That's right. With all that horsepower as the chariot with the whole army behind him. Right? Yes, sir. Hands extended yep. out. They talking about oh, metaphysical, man. and now nah, I'm gonna talk about it in reality, in in in, in light. Exactly, how how it really is. How it really is. Pay attention. How it really is. Yeah. 
So they got a whole crypt under the church. Collateral. Remember Adolf Hitler said they was doing what? Holding them hostage? There they go. Oh, they yes, underground. Oh. They underground in the in the Vatican in the Catholic Church. Dang, bro. It's super evil. Di diabolical. Yes. Look. That's what it is. Look, somebody said, Crystal Ford said Black Rock. Damn, huh? Damn. Can't every which way they go. There ain't no way you can turn. I got you. Looking at this screen, at this uh, P and this key, sitting in the middle of the catacomb, right there on top of the P St. Petersburg Crest one. They're going to hold power, they say, the vicar of Christ until Christ return. See, because Christ redeems the people in the catacombs, the names of the people, and loosen the seals thereof. Yes, sir. And restores Jubilee on the land in which they come from. And our fallen heroes and firstborns who were sent off to different wars in Europe and North Africa, Iberian betrayed by the same 50 nations who then came here and stole their inheritance by right, by common law. Which is the right given by God to God's people. Not no made up allegories of some foreign false land of Africa that doesn't exist. So, the bones at the bottom of the catacombs, remember I said, Emmett Till's father and them people was talking to him, them bones was talking to me. They said, Kev, finally, you, somebody using a brain on earth. That's what the bones said. They said, you finally put it together. That The bones down here is your forefathers, your missing soldier. The firstborns who was crucified, bro, and lost that sea, and for their great grandchildren, and be still be born dead at sea, is the sin of the Gentiles. Press one, and the following of and nobody Go ahead. ever, and nobody ever said that, Kel. What? No one. I ain't never heard nobody say nothing about the catacombs and God's people. And and the thing about like why would they have bones under her? like what is this about? Nobody ever did it. They can't false claim and say they did it. Yeah, because they the crown they, jewels. They right. That's what the crown jewels is. God's crown, the twelve tribes and the the doors that await them. They got their names written on every tribe. That's in the yes, kingdom, sir. bro. Yes, sir. In the kingdom. That's in the kingdom, bro. That's written about in the Bible, bro. Yes, sir. This ain't offered wow, nowhere bro. else in no other book. Everything else is death. There is nothing else. What you want? 50 wives? Shit. You'd be a good player down here, then you can get 50 of them. Player? Press one. What you got a <laughs> way to go to heaven for? There's a bunch of, uh, what's her name, Sexy Reds moving around every democratic society on earth. Press what? Uh, got him. Yes, sir. Got him. Yes, sir. Dang, bro. And you right. Ain't so they spin around else. backwards right here on, on Adam's calendar so they never face judgment. You see that middle, that Terminator line right there? They in trouble. So they never face judgment. They believe in Saturn. See? And so they go counterclockwise to offset judgment. You see? So that the Terminator always kills the man child as the wheel turns. Press one. See, but Rome one. Yes, sir. So while y'all spinning counterclockwise yeah. to the eye of your God. Yes, 
it's already done. You just ready for ready for uh perdition, the son of perdition. That's it. You ready for That's your it. God to appear. That's you. Dang, bro, broke it down in real life. We all uh, not we understand. Let's and go ahead. I'm just thinking about like all the breakdowns, everything you've been breaking down beforehand, it just all come together where we can understand and see. You know? Like, dang, bro. Even even with the uh capitalists why they uh you know, their demise is and, and, and bringing that to light. Who? But, what? What you just man, said? The who? All, all the like the the rappers, like you, like uh, Nipsey Hussle. Yes. What happened with him? Biggie Smalls and the betrayal. All right, down to the sciences, and then they be want to be on metaphysics and in the history, and then that's the main thing teaching us about uh, George Washington Gillespie, and then law with the librarian. Everything fits to help people to understand to to this level, like. If I wasn't paying attention to what you've been saying, I wouldn't quite understand what, but but paying attention and watching and you teaching us, and we can understand. We have to catch up with you, Kill, you know, but, bro, it's it's awesome. Now, when, now even when I look at Genesis or I read the Bible, it's a, a different thought process going on instead of like a, um, a, a Disneyland story or right. like a, you know, real. I ain't, you know, I ain't thinking about way back when. I'm thinking about more closer to home. Like you said a couple of grandmothers ago on what they really did and how God's people fell. Like you, uh, you was reading earlier about how them bones was crying out. Yes. That's the same thing you just explained. Like they crying out. Like nobody know we down here. You know? That's right. Like, man. But I ain't never heard nobody even speak on that. They can't say they have. I ain't never heard it. So, so if they so Gilles, so no, they didn't. They, 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 they was playing. So Gilles, let's go take a science with Albert Einstein. Gilles, born, E, no pi, R P, what? As in the days of Moses, is it? Yeah, as in the days of Moses, the great. uh, the brazen serpent had to be lifted up. The son of man had to so be lifted pie. up. So that's pie. So pie comes after Gilles. Gilles, pie. Okay, it could have been just P-I, but E equals what? Max square? Max square. It, so all the way around, that's what it is. The, the, hold on. I have to... Am I bugging? I want to... Now you're not bugging. I just want to write it down in order the way you just saying it because I can see it better. <laughs> I, ain't gonna uh, rock, I understand, but I, I just feel like it's gonna be more power. It's gonna be even more powerful. So what is what is the value? Together. What is the value of MC squared? Mass multiplied by the speed of light equal uh, C equals the speed of light squared. Wow. Man, Kill. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, How did MC oh, Square oh. lead to the atomic bomb? The discovery of fu- fusion did. Okay. Okay. But it, it, okay, so let me put this up. Mass energy equivalent in a relationship between mass and electron. Boom. I got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because now I know these symbols. Uh y'all busted. E equals MC squared is the Chiro. It's right here. E equals MC squared is what we just said. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm about okay. to put it on the screen. 
Y'all are finished. I'm about to put it on the screen. Mm, mm, mm. Hold up. This is so fun for me. I really don't be, I'll be by myself. Listen, let's go. Let me save that image. Only on this channel, you can just freestyle the whole live stream. Fuck it. But it's all truth, though. <laughs> it's all truth. And then you get into some, you get into things that is deep, kill. I yes, sir. Lie. So the observer, oh my goodness, look at this, y'all. Y'all are tripping. Look at that. Right in the middle of the observer sitting in the middle of the O. Through the eye of the observer, space and time, Adam's oh, calendar, past like home, future like home. Remember I said we rowing backwards looking in the future? See you at the crossroads, champ. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right, sir. Hit the like button and subscribe. Now this, wow. this is how we do. I told you, support the real. Support the real. Don't support the phony. Support the real. How you think we gonna keep paying the bills here, right here on channel fifty four? Never on in, in, on the internet. Nobody's talking about this. E equals M C squared. It's already solved it. And you've been with me solving it the whole time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, Kill. They talking about going back to the future. You already done beat so them. Tell me, so, tell me, so tell me, B, in the picture that I sent you at the end of Route 66 where the light beam hit me. Is it real? That's exactly. That's exactly. That's it. right. So who was looking at me? That's what I. The observer. Right there. Right there. The observer. Right there. Oh man, bro! In the present, sir. People don't understand that. That's other. That's other shit. Yeah, that's Sony. Yeah, that's other Look, shit, chap. I figured out how to. That picture that you showing. That's the that's exactly what I thought about. That's it right there. Yes, sir. Boom. Boom, right there in the center. So what's important is this. This is <laughs> this is important. This right here. Hit that like button and subscribe. This has been a powerful two hours, a three hours on this show. This was a Man. this is a powerful broadcast. And then I say it was gonna be bigger than the first one. Man, Q. Man. Art inspiring for real, bro. And subscribe. This is this is definitely God's work. That's the spotlight. Hand. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Understanding what the kingdom is and we praying for it to come and how it's coming and how all God's, how we're going to be redeemed and everything. I was like, wow. The understanding time, like, man, on all these different levels, is like, bro, it's amazing. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can't. I can't even front, man. I'm just. I feel, yeah, I'm just looking at the screen. I'm thankful. I'm just really like. Yeah, I wow. am too. What that key mean? The key. The key. You got the keys. <laughs> no, uh, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. That, say it again. You got the. Key. You got the keys, bro. What you mean? Let, what do the people? What do you mean by that? All right. Looking at this, the 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 key the, the 
the key row, Kev row, is the key. They trying to put, give you a false key and distract you from understanding. We got the past light, like on this cone and the future light, it's already done. It's already written. The spirit of truth is the key, the key role, Christ, the title, Christ. Yes. Through the lineage is the key. Through air, yes, through lineage. The key, through air, yes, sir, through air is the key. They can't They can't make another one. You can't make you it. You can't make another one. They can't. They can't be it, you know? That's like having a, a car with a push button key. And I'm coming in here with a regular key trying to put it in and crank. It's not going to work. It's not designed for it. So they can fake all they want to. It don't even matter, bro. Like, I'm looking at this like, wow, bro. That's the key to everything. That we've been okay. told already. So, this. so, so the cheat key roll and the cheat roll are the Kev roll. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm the only one who do yes, stuff sir. like this. <laughs> so people don't it's even know the, 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 the Cairo <laughs> University is the university of God and how it happened. Press one. That's why it's a history class. Y'all just don't know what class y'all in. Y'all really in the bungalow. But I'm gonna show you something. Okay. The key roll is what's right there in the middle. So you put the key row here, the P, which they think is the phallus, but it's not. It's the P. X marks the spot. Press 1. Alpha and Omega is the actual timeline of events from beginning to end. Press 1. The ending of the old Adam's belief system and with the spirit. Of of God, oh, you you the seven spirits of God through Adam, living amongst men. Go ahead. From beastly to spirit. For, say say what? From beastly to what? From beastly to spirit. That's man. right. So what you looking at in the in the in the three dimensional realm like this? This is how it look in the flat, like a wheel. Go ahead. Three, wow, bro. <laughs> 3D, 2D. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. Yes, sir. And look, that's why yes. somebody said that's why pi is infinite. Yes, the number eight, Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. Yeah. Dang, bro. That's it right there. Like, man, you described it better than I, I could. I, I, man, yes, sir. That's it. And they can The Alpha and Omega price, but... happens at zero point. Zero point is always the beginning and the end. The middle point is the zero mm -hmm. point. Yeah. It's the end of the world. And the beginning of the new one. It's the real equinox. That one. The real one. No, no. Wow, bro. And that's why they gotta give us a give the people a false light and a false sense of time because it's game over. A thousand years. Ain't it? Yes, sir. Game over. Man, kill. This is like, man. Man, glory to God, bro. Like, man. You went super hard today, bro. For real. That's it right there. That's and it. you can solve this. You can solve it. E yes. equals MC square. Yes. Wow, bro. Pi, the square the root of pi. The square root of pi. All of it, bro. The square root. All of it. Yes. Yes, sir. God said he is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. Dang, 
okay. Now I understand like why they go to so but it's still stupid. You're not gonna win. You are the son of Well, the it's not that they're not stuff. they know they're not to win, B. Right. Yeah. B. Yeah. They, they, they can't they, win. No, B. Yes. I just it just clicked. They know they gonna lose. They know they lost. They know. So ain't no even real reason to say what well, oh, they just no no no. They know that time is up. Time is up, bro. Yes, yes sir. Everything been stale since twenty twenty. Yeah. It ain't even it it ain't this it don't it ain't the same. Nothing. They lost their they magical powers in our working. We can see them. And then you bringing out the the truth to us on how it really is, it's like like man, like like a giant but shrinking before your eyes. Like people looking at them like they so looking at people like they on high and even these uh these spiritual practices, all this stuff don't even, it, it ain't the same no more, you know? That's why people, man, bro, they got to know about you, bro. They don't know about you. But it ain't about them they knowing about know. me. They know what time it is. Yup, time up. Time, time for is God's up. kingdom. The, the, yeah, I mean, they time wrote it up. till the wheels fell off. Dang, to the that's chariot, what that mean. The yes. wheel, the wheel is off. Prometheus, bingo. Uh, Odin is on the wall. Yes, sir. Wow, bro. Yes, sir. That's why they spin counterclockwise. It's kind of like if you if you can't spin it counterclockwise, you're keeping uh, what's to be locked in. There, so you're trying to offset time by never proceeding to the next day. If you get what I'm saying, Groundhog's Day, Groundhog's Day, yes. They on some Groundhog's Day. So they, every day you wake up to the same day. stuff over and over and over again, based off of Groundhog. Dang, bro. Yes, sir. I totally understand that. Game up. You, man. I'm speechless, Kev. Me too. I'm bad, bro. Me I'm, no, just, I'm speechless I'm just, myself. Wow. That's why I'm glad I could be speechless with you. Didn't I tell you? Man, just call in and be there. Yes. Because <laughs> this is, this, oh, this, you feel me? This is other, this is different for me. Yeah. Yeah, it is, bro. You said I got some info. I, I'm man. Even if you had a told me, I wouldn't have understood it like this. This was the best way. That's why I had to sit, wow, just show bro. up. You just be there and call in when I'm ready, bro. Because I got to show everybody something. So this is uh, For real, bro. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is that calendar. This is a uh, Archimedes calendar and all that. Time is up. They said they wanted the black sun. They got it. Well, they that's what you get. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you, B, for calling in, man. We gotta take a break, man. I need to uh I need to think and let my mind relax until the next class. I'm finna go give me some water. Yeah, I gotta give me some water. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you in a minute behind the scenes, champion. Yes, sir. My man. I told y'all it's Kev Roy, nothing. Now, E equals MC squared. Return of the Mac, champion. Ain't nobody in high science is gonna teach y'all this. Kev Row. You know why? Because they didn't know it. They didn't know it. So when you watch these movies of Terminators and and all of this, this is about something bigger than you know. Your allegorical concepts versus what's real. I make your science 
I make the trajectory of your science. I put that back on track. You got me? I put it back on time, what time it is. Uh, but I put your trajectories just right where they need to be via the Gillespie algorithm. Google it. Coffee and Kush TV, I love y'all. Thanks for the support. For those who didn't, y'all wrong for coming to this water well over here drinking without pitching in a quarter. If y'all if y'all go to these Japanese people and throw quarters to Buddha, y'all wrong. So shout out to uh, Thomas Watson for that $20 contribution. Brandon Thomas with that $10 contribution. Lewis with that $15 contribution. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And as always, family, I holla.